Hey again, and welcome to this short, hopefully short video. Um, I just want to show you how to do the guild rate. So this is not gonna, not really gonna be a part of the the starter guide series. Um, I just want to show you that every sixteen hours you have a reset on the guild guild rate. Uh, fights. So the first fight uh, is going to be free. The second fight is going to be free as well. It, it is going to say zero crystals uh, as a cost and then it starts actually costing crystals. So the third fight is going to be 40 crystals and the last fight is going to be 80 crystals. Um, personally I would only start Paying crystals for fights if um, if I know that that it's going to bump me to to the first place, so I'll be able to finish uh, finish as rank one. At the moment, I'm rank three with 2.6 million damage. Um, if we look at the last fight I've done, I'm just gonna skip it because I really don't want to take too much of your time. Uh, I did 920,000 damage and uh, Bellona did almost 700,000 of the damage. As you see here, this, these are both warrior heroes and this one is a ranger. So what I did last time was that I had uh, an anti-ranger artifact on, equipped on Bellona. So right now I'm going to strip Sorceress and then equip Bellona with a, an anti-warrior artifact instead to try and, and increase her damage. Um, in addition, uh, what I did was upgrade this gem until I got an, an attack increase. So. I got a 9.2% attack increase as well as the 450 uh, increase, so now Bellona's attack is on 8.5k. Um, I believe that's all I've done. Um, what I want to do real quick is see if Exorcist was struggling to stay alive, because if Exorcist wasn't struggling then um, I might as well just equip Exorcist with a bit worse gear, so yeah, that doesn't seem like that's gonna be an issue at all. Yeah, he's gonna stay. Uh, he's gonna stay healed for the entire fight. So I will. I'll equip Exorcist with the red gear and equip Bellona with the orange one and equip just Sorceress with the orange one as well. What you can do um, right now, as you saw, two out of three enemies were Scourge. Uh, I'll skip as well. So these two are Scourge, as you see there, and one is Human. Um, so if you want to maximize your damage output against guild raid bosses, um, I would suggest going to the Dragon Island and upgrading the Scourge one because of this one that increases the damage against Scourge. Of course the guild raid bosses are going to change uh, factions for each one but for right now um, that, that could be an idea. This one right here is going to increase uh, like this one has armor break this one is going to have attack and this one's going to have uh, HP. Um, this one has skill damage, this one has hit if I recall, and this is speed. Um, so right now this is going to do me the most good because I'm up against Scourge enemies, so I'll be able to upgrade it probably around 7 or 8 times, so I'll be able to get this to like around 3%. Let's see. Okay, maybe not seven or eight times. Yeah, maybe only. Okay. That was more expensive than I thought. Anyhow, it's still 1.8% more damage than it was before. 
Um, and we're going to go with the same lineup other than that. Um, last thing I should mention is that my main damage dealer is Bellona, this one. And she is a ranger. So once you start getting the guild coins and you're sure that you, you're going to go with her as your main hero, you can go to this ranger academy tree and start leveling up. Uh, once you have 10 points in the first one, you can spell, spend the guild coins um, on the second one and then of course it just goes on and they get increasingly expensive as you see this one is 50 and this one ends up being 1400 just for the first point however since i'm not sure if i'm going to go with ranger i'm gonna hold off on that right now um i realize that's gonna gonna make my damage output a bit lower but but still i'm i'm fairly sure that i'll I'll end up being at least top 3 on this boss. So when you're done with the boss and it's killed, then you will get rewards based on your ranking. And what I want to do is just aim to always be in the top 3. So far that has not been going very well because I uh, I didn't really have any damage dealing heroes. So I was on 7 on this one. Um, this one is going uh, at a fair bit better. Um, so Exorcist still in the front, Bellona in that position. I think this is going to be the the optimal setup. So hope before she did 700, uh, 700k almost, so hopefully we should see her go to... I got the 10% damage increase, which means 770k, and then I got the 2% uh, increase from the Dragon Island. So hopefully she is... Okay, Exorcist is actually dying now. I did not see that coming. Okay, so this round is going to be worse than it was before only because uh, Exorcist didn't have uh, enough self-healing. That, uh, that was a disappointing discovery. Still, I managed to do pretty much the same damage as before. 700k still. So for the other free try we have left, um, I will go and equip Exorcist with the orange gear and then just swap from sorceress so exorcist should stay alive for for the 15 rounds right now uh due to the self-healing of course being significantly better okay let's see exorcist below now yeah and we have the aura buff still so this should be the best the best round so far i uh, i'm hoping to see a, a damage output over 1 million i'm i would be surprised if it's not if it's not above a million um, but let's see how it goes i guess i i could be unlucky that uh, belona's frozen or something like uh, stargazer right now and uh, it ends up being lower but I would be surprised if it's not above 1 million. Um, so if we just slow it down for a second, we'll see, okay, so yeah. Of course it, it works better if you have more heroes alive because Bellona gains a Chakram for, for each time, or gains a Chakram each time a hero attacks uh, an enemy, so the more heroes alive, the, the more damage. Yeah, still not 1 million. I'm a bit surprised, I'll tell you, but um, she did increase to, to 800,000 herself, so at least it was an improvement on that front. And now I'm in a. I'm in a first place, but, but I, I think that he's gonna he's gonna overtake. 
I'm pretty sure that he did 900k last time. No, that wasn't him. That was the uh, that was the guy with the with the six star assassin then. Pub 33. Yeah, he's the one that did 900k. So he'll probably he'll probably be rank one. Yeah, almost a million. Yeah, so he'll be rank one. But uh, that's uh, that's the best way for me to do the good raid boss at least. What I would suggest that you do if you're going to go against the guild raid boss is in the first position, so the the hero taking damage from the normal attack, try to put either your tankiest hero or a hero that has some effect on the on the guild boss. So an example could be the skeleton queen um, here. She has a passive effect that increases her own attack by 5% and reduces the attack of the attacker by 10% for two rounds when being attacked. So if you put her in the first position and she's able to survive all 15 rounds, then the guild raid bosses would, will always have 10% attack less um, and your heroes, of course, will be able to survive uh, longer. So and it it increases her own attack as well. So she has a higher damage output as well. And there's plenty of examples um, of this. Um, I'll see if I can find one from another race. Um, to be honest, I don't remember at the moment. Um, but there are definitely other examples where. Um, where they have an effect. Actually, Psychic is a very good example of uh, of an effect. So, when when Psychic is being attacked, uh, the attacker is uh, tagged, and the crit damage of backline allies is increased by 10%. So, when the attacker is tagged, that means that let me just see. Tags them with a mark for two rounds. Yeah, she does that on her active as well. The tagged uh, enemy is uh, guaranteed to receive a critical attack. So if you have Psychic as the front hero, then every time the guild boss attacks her, she's uh, going to give them a mark that, um, that makes the next tag attack against them uh, a guaranteed crit. So that's very useful um, in terms of dealing more damage. But that's actually all I wanted to show you in uh, in this video, how to uh, how to maximize your guild rate output. And as I stated in the first video, it really is very important because uh, those coins to level up these trees, uh, academy trees, are going to be very very important. And in the in the long run, they're really gonna make a huge difference. So um, that's all for me right now, so uh, thank you for, for watching and uh, see you in the next one.